Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm making this delicious chicken sekela. So for my sekela, I've got six pieces of chicken leg quarters and I'll be using some fresh ginger and some fresh garlic, red chili powder, black pepper, cumin powder, coriander powder, some yogurt. I've got my tamarind here that has been soaked in warm water. And I'm using wet tamarind today, but you can use dry tamarind or you can use fresh tamarind if you have. Now some lemon or lime and some red food coloring if you wish, some salt, and I'm using some olive oil, but you can use any oil that you wish. So I'm going to start by making a paste out of my fresh ginger and garlic, and I've added one teaspoon of salt. Now this is a plain yogurt, it's unflavored, the thick yogurt, and I'm adding all the spices. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of fresh ginger and garlic paste. And um, I have soaked my uh, tamarind in uh, one cup. So once you squeeze it, you're going to get a thick sauce like this. So I used about three to four tablespoons. Then I squeeze in a, a lemon. I've started with half a piece. And then I added about three tablespoons of oil. I decided to add more yogurt, so I started with quarter cup, so I added another quarter cup. So for the whole recipe, I've used half a cup of yogurt. You're just gonna mix it well and then, uh, you know, taste it and see if you wish to add anything else. If you need to add some chilies, you need to add lemon or salt. In my case, I just added one teaspoon of uh, salt and I needed to squeeze some more lemon. All right, and then a little bit of red food coloring. You can use orange food coloring, and if you don't want any food coloring, it's fine. All right, so that's my marinade, and I usually like to marinate it for like overnight, but on this day, I only did uh, six hours. So we're just gonna marinate that. Now, something about sekela. I found out that sekela is actually a Gujarati word, and it means grill. So this is basically a grilled chicken. But when you say sekela for me, sekela means more flavor. And the flavor comes from the tamarind sauce. And that's what gives it a really, really Swahili grill. You want to have a Swahili grill, have a tamarind sauce. That's my opinion. All right. So once it's done, we're just going to cover it and put it in the fridge. In the meantime, I'm getting ready for my sauce. I've just made a small insertion on the tomatoes. I'm basically blanching them. Now this is hot water, boiling water, and I just did uh, that for about 45 seconds. And then take it out and put it in ice cold water. This is going to prevent it from cooking it further. Then you're just going to remove the skin of the tomatoes. And I'm going to blend this. This has no specific recipe or measurements. So I also added one clove of garlic, a little bit of uh, ginger about five mint leaves and about four strands of coriander, one green chili and the tamarind sauce. Now, after I used the first time, I added water and I got a little lighter tamarind sauce and then uh, tamarind juice. I added two green, um, green onions and you just want to blend it and see how beautiful this is. This goes very well with sekela or for that matter, fish, you know, grilled fish or whatever. It really goes well. Then we're just going to add some salt. Now you can add more chilies if you want it more spicy. You know, you can do whatever you want. And now we're going to move to the next condiment for the sekela. The next condiment is the cabbage. This is the shredded cabbage. And I've added some onions, some diced cucumbers, some tomatoes. Now this is Swahili. You know, you want to have grilled chicken with this. This is really Swahili. And then we're going to add a little bit of uh, chili powder if you want. It's optional. And then a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, I don't want to make this a little too citric because I have got uh, another sauce that's going to go on top of it. And a little bit of um, tamarind juice or sauce. Since I had it, I didn't want to waste it. And you're just going to give it a good mix. And of course, some salt. And now we are ready to grill the chicken. Oh, I'm going to broil mine. So my pan has water underneath. This makes my chicken very moist. All right. So you can grill this in any barbecue uh, pit or you can do use a charcoal. You can grill it, uh, 
bake it in the oven you can use the the grill pan that goes on the stove however you like it and those who are not familiar about broiling it's just using the upper part of the heat not the lower part so i've got it on the second line i don't want my chicken to burn and this went in for about seven minutes in the min in the meantime i started working with my fries so i'm just gonna blanch the potatoes that are sliced uh, like this and uh, i blanch them for about two to three minutes you don't want to do uh, too much because you don't want to overcook them mine were a little bit overcooked i was trying to adjust the camera and uh, but they were fine so you want to put them in a paper towel to drain all the water and uh, after seven minutes i'm just uh, basting my chicken with the marinade that i had just to you know enhance more flavors you know you want the flavors to really really come through and then after that we just put it back in the oven for about three minutes so totally i cooked it on one side for 10 minutes i mean it depends what kind of oven you have and how the heat is and then we're just going to flip it on the other side and uh, repeat the process now i'm ready for my fries make sure that your oil is very hot because you don't want your fries to be greasy all right we call this chipsy from the word chips chipsy now sekela with chipsy or oh, it's it's heaven on earth okay so you can fry this for about two to three minutes until you get or until you get your desired color i don't like mine too dark so i'm just um, gonna stop here like this and that's fine with me so while the fries are frying my chicken was grilling well and now it's ready as you can see it's so beautiful and i'm telling you i regretted um why i made only six pieces because it was not enough and full of flavor so sekela actually has um, bring some childhood memories for me you know back home uh, you know over the weekend you go to oyster bay you know the beach you have sekela and uh, that's it so here's the sauce and then we've got i've got some green salad and my cabbage kachumbari and some fries and i'm ready to serve now if you have not been if you have not been to tanzania and you if you ever go to tanzania let me put it that way make sure you have sekela and if you can't do that try this at home okay so so we're gonna serve some fries i'm sorry my plate was a bit on top but um, you can see then we add the cabbage on top and then you put the sauce over the cabbage and the chicken of, and of course the fries if you want and let me show you how juicy this chicken is it's so beautiful so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at aroma of zanzibar and you'll find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below